Hi, today I'd like to introduce our smart water meter Aquamat AP. AP stands for Advanced Pay and this model is equipped with a motorized shut-off valve. That is, you pay for the water you need as you go. Our smart water meter comes with LoRa wireless communication as standard and it is always connected to the cloud data server through the LoRa gateway. Aquamat AP is configured to send data at regular time intervals to the cloud. The LoRa communication is bidirectional, meaning that the data goes from smart meter to the cloud data server and the instructions can be sent from cloud data server to the smart meter. The water supply or utility company can install this smart water meter at the customer location so the customer and the utility company can access the water usage data at any time on the web. The customer needs to purchase or prepay for the water amount that he expects to use over the period of time. When the customer purchases a certain amount of water, either online or in store, the transaction instructions are sent to the data center and the balance update instructions are sent to the smart water meter over LoRa network and the balance shows up on the meter display. When the water balance expires after the water being used up over the time, shutoff valve is activated and automatically turns the water off. And when the customer purchases another volume of water, the balance is updated and when the Aquamed has non-zero balance available, the wall opens automatically and water supply is restored. Today, in this video, we are going to demonstrate the operation of Aquamet AP by using a simple test setup. The test setup consists of the water container, which can hold about uh, 20 gallons of water, a half HP submersible water pump, Aquamet AP a smart water meter, a third party mechanical water meter, which is a positive displacement type meter uh, using mutating disc in water chamber, a needle wall to control the water flow, and the PVC pipes uh, connecting all components to make a closed loop water circuit, uh, in which the same water circulates from the container through the meters and back to the container. And of course, the container is filled with uh, regular tap water at room temperature. A Comet LCD display switches between showing two values, lifetime usage and available balance every five seconds. So the lifetime usage is shown in seven large digits in thousands, thousands of liters, and uh, three small digits showing in liters. When showing available balance, a B is shown followed by five large digits and three small digits. The display is updated every second. There is a moving arrow sign which indicates that meter is active. The unit of water usage is L which is liters and can be configured to other units like gallons or cubic meter. The radio icon shows that the radio communication is active. Smart water meter is configured to send several key data values to cloud every 30 seconds. Key data values include meter ID, current timestamp, lifetime usage, available balance, current water temperature, and also the alarm flag values. In this setup, we see that Aquamet AP has available balance of 50 liters and lifetime usage of 1,700,000 1, liters. We'll now have the actual water run and see how Aquamet AP works. Let me switch the screen to show the cloud data server window. We can see how the data packets are being received every 30 seconds. And uh, the decoded data packet shows the actual data, that is a lifetime usage of 1,700,000 liters and a remaining balance of 50 liters. The second screen shows uh, three widgets. It shows it's the web application and it receives the data from the cloud data server and shows the data in more meaningful graphics. 
the first line graph shows the lifetime use and the second gauge shows the current water temperature and the third line graph shows the available balance. A particular meter ID is associated with a customer and he can log in and see the water usage represented in graphs or charts. Uh, okay, so we can now open the tap. Okay, so we now have the water running. The Aquamet shows uh, the available balance is now being used and decreasing. And the lifetime volume is counting up. We can see the same data being received on the cloud data server and also the graphs. So we are seeing the graph uh, which are updated in real time. Uh, we can see that the available balance is now going down. So I'm going to record further all the way to uh, when the balance expires and we'll just keep watching. All right, so we are at a point where uh, the available balance is five liters and we'll see uh, when the balance expires, uh, the shut off valve is going to be activated and the water supply is going to be turned off. So that's what it just demonstrates that when balance expires, the wall automatically turns off and the water supply is, uh, is turned off. In the next step, uh, we'll send the uh, update instructions to the, uh, to the Aquamate and we'll see that uh, it restores the water supply. So we have now the available balance as zero. Uh, I'm going to simulate a step in which the customer purchases say a uh, hundred uh, cubic meter of water, which is a hundred thousand liters. And the data server receives the transaction. The data server then sends an update instruction to the Aquamate. Uh, these steps will actually happen uh, automatically through the application but for now i'm going to run the update instruction uh, manually uh, so I'm, I'm going to send this instructions to through the data server The uh, LoRa radio link between the Aquamate and the cloud data server is of type class A, uh, which means that although happening in real time, uh, only takes place every 30 seconds. And at other time, the radio link is in the sleep mode. Uh, this type of configuration is set up to conserve the battery. Uh, hence, uh, when the balance update instruction is sent to Aquamate, it takes about one minute to take an effect. So uh, we'll, we'll be able to see that the instruction has been sent and now it's activated. So, so it takes about a minute 
uh, and we see in the real time here that the my remaining balance has gone up to 100 uh, which is 100,000 liters now available uh, and the the remaining ba the, the lifetime balance will actually show as as it goes uh, 